Good morning. It's Whimsy. Sans cake. My project for the next week or I don't know, however long it takes, will be to make a terrain feature out of the XPS foam for D&D style crafting. This one's going to be a little weird. I'm taking it kind of out of my mind. I just want to find a little, I want to build a little ritual place that you might find in the woods or on the rough terrain somewhere that your character or group might stumble upon. And so it's going to be this little mountainous terrain, kind of ancient, cut up by the elements sort of thing. And I'm going to try experimenting with a few different levels of it. So who knows? I don't really have a reference drawing for this. So it's uh, I'm going to sketch something up and we'll kind of see how it all turns out. Okay, so forgive my artwork, but that's kind of my picture. <laughs> You've got a little uh, tier over here on the left where it's uh, you originally go up and you go down to the slightly lower tier on the right and then up again to the ritual circle. And in the meanwhile, it's all rock and kind of cliffy terrain and stuff and who knows what other weird stuff I'll put in there. But I immediately realized that's too thick for this. So I had to glue two of these things together to get some kind of idea of a tall enough thing. I think I can do it with just these two glued together, but we'll see. And then I, I don't know if you can see the things in there. There you go. But I kind of scratched out sort of what I wanted it to look like. I feel like that won't have anything to do with what it ends up looking like. But I did use PVA glue to glue these down and it sat it under a book for a while. And I used my trusty uh, Nat uh, character as a basis for uh, sizing on this. So I don't know, this is not what I'm doing with Cake. She's probably gonna start another project as soon as I start this one. Uh, but it's one that just I decided I had to see if I could do. So let's see what happens. So here's where we are right now with this. We have a layer, a level here, which is going to be the ritual circle thing. A layer here, a little smaller than I thought, but the stairs prove problematic. Some more stairs coming up this way. We'll have a little level here and some stairs going up there. So this has required an awful lot of ripping material apart and trying to get a bunch of scrap off here. And to that end, I found a couple tools that worked really well. Let's see if I can find them to show you. Do, 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 do. Here's my little tools. There we go. This little guy is a clay sculpting tool. But it is particularly good at getting in here and just ripping out chunks of stuff. So that's kind of how I cleared a lot of this away. What we've been doing is cutting down to the level that we're looking for. And I'll do some of this right here for you. So let's say we'll say that this is going to be the next level of stairs. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? So we cut a nice good groove there. Whee! I will not cut myself. I will not cut myself. Probably not. And then we do some of that. There we go. And then we pop this little guy in there. Well, before we do that, we kind of score it a little bit this way. Oops, see, don't cut through the side, Dan. And then we come through here and just kind of rip these little things out. Sometimes they come out nice, sometimes they don't. But it's better than taking every little tiny thing out. And then if it doesn't all come out, I just reach in there and kind of score it a bit. 
Whee! Look at that! And this little tool does a very good job at just removing extra material. It doesn't do it super neatly, so you have to go in after there and kind of clean it out a bit. But it does a very admirable job of making a spot. So, the last thing I'm going to do with the stairs is bring them all the way up here. Hopefully I will have enough room. I mistook the amount of room it was going to take to make all the steps. And then I'll have an area here that will look uh, kind of like a secondary level as well. And we'll kind of see how all that works. After that I'm going to try to chop this up a little bit and edge it and make it look actually like rock. But until I get the structures in I don't want to do too much because I've already found that this was an area that I wish I had left more material in. So we'll see what happens. Alright, so here we are. I've got my stairs carved out. I've got uh, the rest of them finished up. I kind of made it look a little more rocky. Got a little cave in the back just for fun. I, I'm, I'm not quite satisfied with the uh, build yet on there, but I'm getting closer to it. I think I have to do something here to make it work a little better. And I don't know, maybe something over here, but I'm going to probably put some filling compound on it and see if I can make it look, evidently that may helps it to look a little more rocky and less fingerprinty and gougy. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, also, I think I can use that to get some striations in the rock, but I'm done for tonight. This is how the terrain is looking right now. We've got all the, uh, the black mud podge on it. We've got the stair levels. It looks like some of the uh, filling compound did a good job straightening out and kind of striating some of the things I was concerned with. So, it's looking pretty okay right now. Better than I think it looked when it was green. Uh, I'm happier with the shape and we're going to start painting. So my little piece of terrain here is looking all painted now. Let's see, it's got its gray base coat on it after the original black. Hey, what's inside there? It's a secret hidden cave. Doesn't show up very well on camera, but that's all right. And we spin around here. There we go. That is with my little weird magical design up top that I don't know whether that's going to turn out to be anything or not. But maybe it'll be just runes from a magic design of the past or something. But anyway, it's got some definition now. It's, it all looks stonish anyway. And now I've got to put some dry rubs over it or dry brushes, excuse me, to see if I can get make it look more like actual rock and less like some giant slab of drab paint. <laughs> so here we are with all of the highlighting, low lighting, dry brushing type stuff. I tried to go over it initially with some colors inside the gaps and things to see if I could um, get veins of ore and that sort of stuff and then we went into dry brushing to get some of the stone type features and I decided at the last minute that I would kind of highlight those uh, gutters with a red that might look like a little bit of dried blood or so kind of to make that sacrificial magic area Today I used all of those colors <laughs> to try to get some real good stone accents and highlights and I just don't know if it came out or not but I'm hoping it will. I'm gonna now, now I have to decide do I use a black wash on this which is gonna come out pretty dark or do I use a brown wash on this which I think gives a little bit better stone color but um, but isn't quite as forgiving of, it doesn't meld in all the colors um, to be quite muted as, as they sometimes would like to be. Okay now, I've got my brown wash on this 
and I don't know if it's what I want it to be right now. If I put something darker on it, it could bring it all the way to crazy town. So I guess we're going to decide whether I put a little more dark in the dark wash and see what we come up with or leave well enough alone. I don't know if I've learned my lesson yet to leave well enough alone. Success! I'm really happy I did another uh, darker wash over the top of the brown wash. Hey Bruno! Are these the kind of stairs you like? Why are you still down at the bottom? Those aren't disappearing stairs. I like the ones that disappear all the time and take me into weird places and scare me and make me have bad dreams. I don't even feel slightly compelled to climb those. Hey guys, look! We're not the first people here. I think... I think we might have made a horrible mistake. Hey guys, I found a different place. I don't even have to climb up the stairs to get to here. So this is the final piece, so to speak. Look at this. Ooh. Coming around. A little stone thing aids through the years. Some natural, some carved out. Maybe it sits in the middle of an ocean somewhere, or in a lake, I don't know. Maybe just sitting in the middle of the woods, who knows? So I managed to get some decent texture on some of these as well. I mean, that looks very stone-like to me. So this build is done. And I say that with a slight pause only because I have an idea that I might take some of those torches we built and build a few extra ones and just put a couple of them here and maybe lining the stairs a little bit so there's sort of a, a grand procession sort of thing. But I'm not 100%. I think if I do that I'm going to view that as its own project or in addition to this project. So I'm going to close this one out. That's my idea of planning. Yep, that's right. That's my concept sketch. <laughs> because I don't know how to make concept sketches. <laughs> okay, I think that gives you a good idea of the kind of artistic level you're working with here. <laughs> but that's a whole lot better than that. That's a, I even made it playable. It's a, people can get on it. It's a, it's a bit big to be playable, but you can pop this in the middle of, you know, any type of other terrain and you've got a pretty cool piece. Uh, we're probably just about ready to get started on trying to figure out some of the fairy village stuff, but that's a me and Jess thing, not just a me thing. So we'll see how that goes. Meanwhile, this was your, my first solo craft. So hope you like it. If you like seeing these kind of videos, occasionally crafting, occasionally going on adventures, occasionally just doing whatever strikes our whimsy to do, ah, get whimsy, why not like the videos and subscribe to the channel? Subscribe button should be just down on the lower right hand side. If it's uh, red, you have not subscribed yet. So go ahead and click that. Meanwhile, I don't have to share with Jess today since she wasn't involved in this, so let's definitely frost the cake.